cricket juice is healthier than orange juice? <laughs> Many insects are loaded with antioxidants. That, in a report that you want to hear at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Now, insects and bugs aren't exactly the most appetizing food items, but that doesn't stop a quarter of the Earth's population, an estimated 2 billion people, from eating insects on a daily basis. <laughs> Not sure I can stress how much this won't happen for Mr. Study Finds guy. It can be hard for the rest of us to wrap our heads around eating bugs, but that doesn't change the fact that many insects are an excellent source of protein, fiber, and vitamins. Now a new study out of Italy has found one more reason to consider eating insects. Certain types are absolutely packed with antioxidants. <laughs> I mentioned this before, but uh, I used to live near a creek, and every year that thing was covered in crickets, starting at about dusk. Anywho. Those little guys like to come in and make noise in the house. I'm telling you, that is worse than when your smoke alarm starts making that battery chirp at 3 a.m. I mean, the <laughs> smoke alarm doesn't move. Okay, to be clear, researchers only analyzed insects already commercially available for eating. Oh, thank goodness. So this study does not advocate searching in your garden for dinner tonight. I want to make sure that's clear. Oh, great. Now there's an excuse. <laughs> Waiter, there's a cricket in my food. Oh, that is part of the recipe. <laughs> Quick thinking, Pierre. Now all of a sudden we're all supposed to eat the damn things. Well, of the edible insects analyzed, grasshoppers, silkworms, and crickets displayed the highest levels of antioxidants, almost five times more than fresh orange juice. Oh, great. It is worth noting here that all of those insects are vegetarians, well, carnivorous bugs, such as giant cicadas, giant water bugs, black tarantulas, and black scorpions all displayed negligible antioxidant ratings. <laughs> to be fair, scorpions and spiders aren't insects but arachnids. Ah, well, getting me all confused here. Are we really quibbling over what disgusting, crunchy varmint we're going to eat? <laughs> oh, and I love the hotel in Florida we were at way back during spring break that had these huge roaches oh no those those are uh, water bugs we don't we don't have roaches yeah and i'm tv's don johnson <laughs> it was the 80s that's an 80s reference the cockroaches and water bugs are not the same so <laughs> here's the good news these insects were analyzed in the form of a fat free dust <laughs> you can already imagine how hard that would be to swallow but Researchers say that even if the dust was diluted 88% in water, it would still boast about 75% of the antioxidant qualities of orange juice, a testament to just how filled with antioxidants those little critters are. Oh, and uh, <laughs> you're not picking legs out of your teeth either. Additionally, fat taken from giant cicadas and silkworms displayed twice the antioxidant content levels of olive oil. <laughs> I'm not cooking with them. So, <laughs> about those crickets that lived behind my old house so they would get in every now and then like i said and i had one crawl on my face and my cheek i literally punched myself in the face i'm still not quite certain that my wife didn't put it there just to get me to do that but oh my god talk about a really interesting way to wake up it's fun also if you live in texas you know that anything that crawls on you has a chance to kill and eat you so it's not like i wasn't a little justified being a big baby about the whole thing <laughs> You know, have you ever seen what a brown recluse or fire ants can do to a person? Google it. It's gross. All right. For the study, researchers purchased a wide range of commercially available edible insects. Then they removed any inedible parts like wings or stingers and ground the insects into two materials, fat and the aforementioned fat-free dust. Each substance was then tested for antioxidants. The research team admits that it won't be easy to convince most people to eat something that looks as unappetizing and, and tastes even worse. <laughs> That's not a menu description I'm going to jump on right there. <laughs> this tastes like crap, but you know, it's, it's really good for you. Although that did work for kale. Well, there's hope. They stress that consumers should remember all of the health benefits that insects can offer. <laughs> Researchers say additional testing is needed in order to clarify the effects of these antioxidants in humans. Oh, <laughs> now they tell us. Well, great. Get back to me. I'm going to go have my orange juice now.
Check out more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.